Someone said their favorite part's coming up. I don't know what that means, but it's something. <laughs> There's an old proverb. Once three women gather, things get noisy. It happens to be a lie. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Truth of the matter is, one woman is enough for things to get noisy. <laughs> Females are capable of holding a lengthy conversation with a wall. Get the three such creatures together, and you're solidly beyond noisy and into migraine-inducing territory. A conversation b between men is a very effective thing. Step one, both sides communicate their business. There's no step two. <laughs> Definitely true. With women, it's a different story. Before they get to the... To get actually get to the point, the conversation will be diverted onto the subject of dieting, which then involves into a chat about cosmetics. From there, the topic will follow suit to shift to TV programs and celebrities, perhaps followed by an exchange of opinions on popular sweets. After a stopover at the old standby, love gossip, things will come to full circle to more dieting talk. Whatever the original point of the conversation may have been, it's buried under the bewildering blizzard of topics never to be seen again. Then again, maybe I'm just looking at this the wrong way. It seems entirely plausible that female conversation is pointless by design. Of course, I'm something of a magnanimous spirit, so I do my best to endure these unproductive chats when necessary. But there comes an end to every limit. Once my tolerance is exceeded, my usual coping method is to shut down my brain, then repeat, I see, amazing, and not your fault, every time I sense a pause in the verbal onslaught. In many cases, this proves sufficient. On one memorable occasion, I weathered a conversation with a woman for a good th for four fucking hours using nothing but these three phrases. Oh, oh no. Kazami-san mo, so omotte itadaketan desu ne? I see. それでは決定事項とさせていただきます。Wonderful. <laughs> Amazing. クオリティが低くならないように努力します。Not your fault. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are also times when my strategy doesn't work out so well. ねえ、いいの？あんなこと OK しちゃって。<laughs> Hmm? Oh shit, uh. Masaka, take Tony Kotai to Tawaki Janai de Shone. I may have shut down my brain. What happened? What a ridiculous accusation. I was listening to every single word. So, no new Hanastaka s e t s m e s t e m i n a s a y o Well, uh. Let's see, uh, something about how Sachi hates pickles, or was it parsley? I don't remember. Then, then, c h i g a Well, this is a whole bunch of shit, ain't it? <laughs> Seems my concentration may have slipped over ever so slightly. Probably because I got so caught up in reading the la that new novel last night. I hadn't noticed during my morning training routine, but apparently I didn't get enough sleep. Must have flipped the mental kill switch without even realizing. I force my brain out of hibernation mode and stare Machiro in the eyes. Alright. Honestly, I wasn't paying attention in the slightest. Therefore, I had no idea whatsoever as to what the conversation may have been about. Not, a sh not a sh even a shred, to be honest. You got a problem with that? <laughs> just fucking telling it like it is! Most guys just skirt around the question. We're just like, nope. All I remember of that discussion was some pointless small talk at the beginning. Hardly a big deal if I spaced out, right? Ah, so. What, uh, what, do you, what do you mean? Like, what I do? Oh, God, why isn't she telling me what I did? Crying. Mishiro, what? Just tell me what's going on, or else I'll. Oh, oh, God. It's embarrassing. What? Sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Don't hmm me. How about you tell me what's going on? Majiro, no! Hmm. This might be trouble. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, uh, oh god. Okay. Yeah, about that. Uh. What in the fuck did I just agree to? 
Uh, Space Marines. Space Marines, I need your help! Uh, yeah, very true. Gotta have sufficient length, I guess. <laughs> what wouldn't be useful? What the fuck is happening? I mean, clearly she met my measurements, but what is happening? Right, wouldn't be useful, yeah. No, no, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, with her customary f finesse. Sachi takes my measurements. The skillful, efficient movements of her hands remind me of a maid gracefully pouring tea. Her refined motions possess something of the special charm unique to the work of true artisans. Truly impressive. Can I ask one question? Yes, what the fuck did I agree to? <laughs> You're measuring for the length of what, exactly? The... what now? The strap, huh? So what the, uh, what the fuck do you mean, the strap? Th that could be a whole lot of things, Sachi. Alright, show me what you, what I, oh, sh show me what you can do. I expect expert precision to the millimeter. Yes, thank you. A shark pouch? What's a, wait a minute, hold on. Sachi, Sachi, hold up! Wait, Sachi, no! Sachi trots off, oblivious. My voice doesn't even seem to register. As I find myself alone, the gravity of the situation at last begins to sink in. A shark pouch. That'll look perfect on me? By shark pouch, she's presumably referring to something like the, that vaguely fish-shaped fanny pack Machira's always wearing. Okay, that much I understand, but one that will look perfect on me? What's that supposed to mean? Oh. I slowly, carefully draw out my vague memories of the conversation I sleepwalked through earlier. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> okay. A cool draft of air was flowing into the hallway through an open window, refreshing as a mountain breeze after a long hike. As I walked down the corridor, lost in my thoughts, I was surprised by an agitated yelp. It was reminiscent of the high-pitched shrieks emanate, it, em, eh, emitted by cartoon animals back in the earliest days of sound films. I moved to confirm the situation, prepared for the remote possibility of an emergency. Instead, I just found Machira sprawled out on all fours, her face planted on the ground. Apparently, she was cleaning the floor with her tongue. How admirable. <laughs> hmm. Face mop, huh? That brings back memories. I had to clean a few hallways this way myself back in my old school. Oh, well. <laughs> well... I guess that shows that we we did that. <laughs> when I looked down, a number of canisters were strewn all over the floor. They resembled Machiro's containers of ramen candy. Apparently, this wasn't an attempt at cleaning at all. They must have fallen out of her shark pouch when she fell. In an attempt to be polite, I bent over to help her pick them up, but Machiro hurriedly snatched the nearest canister away from my hand because she soon. <laughs> I'll keep my hands wherever I need them. <laughs> hmm. If you say so. Oh no, this is how it happened. <laughs> Holy shit, she actually appeared. She's, she fucking... <laughs> a wizard... Shows up precisely when she needs to. Means to, not needs to. Whatever, same fucking thing. I'll just fucking do this right on the fly for you, right now. And here we go, it's done. You didn't even touch it. Picking. ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ。ふふふ
Now that I think about it, by this point, I was already mostly turned out of the conversation. Once a female speaks the word cute, in most cases, the discussion is going to get painfully lengthy and repetitive. Combined with my drowsiness from sufficient, insufficient sleep, this instinctive judgment quickly sent my mind into hibernation mode. Hey, yeah, sure, whatever, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Watch. Watch. Here it comes. I see. No, the I see. Hontoni Samesan Nozomi de Areba. What does she got scratched at the Kimasuma? Amazing. Toto, I does she got Jordan the Itanoka Warukatawayo? Konoko. Yeah? Well, let her. <laughs> We're zoned out right now. Not your fault. Michiru-sama, <laughs> 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 Machiro might be dumb, but sometimes, like, there's certain things that she does catch, like this. Michiru-sama,それは間違っています。Kazami-sanは返事を適当にする人ではありません。Kazami-san,私にサメさん作らせてください! <laughs> oh, you would be dead wrong about that one, Sachi. <laughs> I see. しかもカザミさん用にラインストーンをつけて さらに可愛くキラキラにさせていただきます。だから毎日しっかり着用してくださいませんか? <laughs> is the next line gonna be amazing? <laughs> yup! <laughs> amazing. そうとユージ。私が悪かったってば、この子本当に作っちゃうわよ。そしたら毎日キラキラをぶら下げて生活することになるのよ。or she can make one for us. I just take it and never wear it and put it in like just like display it in the room or something. <laughs> yeah, not your fault. Michiru-sama,きっとかさみさんはこう見えて大のファンシー好きであり、キラキラ好きなんです。<laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I see. God damn it. Uh, see, we did remember everything we said. Or not what we said. We already know we said th say three things. But uh what she's what they were talking about. Amazing. <laughs> Not your fault. <laughs> hmm. Well, somehow it seems the conversation concluded with me sentenced uh, to wear a sparkly shark fanny pack at all times. I gently close my eyes and imagine the result. Yeah, look at us. <laughs> a sparkly, glittery lifestyle. As I say in Hollywood, a life of glitter. Although I can picture the scene without difficulty, accepting it proves beyond my capabilities. Sachi! Sachi! We got problems. <laughs> All of them. Emergency situation. Sorry for the sudden notice, Sachi, but I need to withdraw the previous request. Discontinue the production process. What I'm saying is I'm talking about the pouch. You remember, right? Halfway? She's done it halfway! How is she a god? I don't understand! Holy shit. You work fast. Holy crap, dude. Uh, we can't deny it now. Every time the word shark pouch leaves Sachi's mouth, her expression becomes dazed and dreamy. The girl's gotten herself all fired up for some reason. I've got to do something, anything, and quick. Oh. 
god damn it! Right. Oh god, we just gotta man up. <laughs> if the things already have finished, I can hardly admit that I simply wasn't paying attention to the conversation. In the field, even a momentary lapse of judgment can be enough to trap you in a hopeless situation. I've seen people die for their carelessness before my eyes. A few thoughtless steps, a small sound drowned out by the buzzing of insects, a single stray bullet. Such things can sometimes change the fate of the world. I should know this all too well, and yet, look at me now. A cold sweat trickles down my armpits as I speak. A shark, huh? A, a shark, is it? Hi, Same san desu. Can we change the design to be a badass shark? Like with sunglasses? Or could you make a crocodile instead? Well, there's, there's a silver lining right there, I guess. Figures, I was hoping to buy some time with an a, unreasonable demand, but we're dealing with Sachi here. A design change like that doesn't even phase her. Sorry, Sachi. Forget about the crocodile as well. <laughs> she was insta instantly! Her preparations for changing the coloration from a shark to a crocodile were proceeding far too quickly. I can't underestimate her skills. I've got to pick up an animal difficult enough to throw her for a loop and slow down the production process. Which would mean... I've got it, Sachi. What we need here is a bush dog. I have n well one what the fuck Sachi number two I've never even heard of a bush dog in my life I do indeed think you can handle it alright fantastic oh my god we're just making this worse for ourselves Sachi twists her face in apparent frustration just as I'd hoped even with her de de determined spirit Making a motif from such an unfamiliar animal would require some time-consuming work. All right. Carefully collect your reference materials. Proceed slowly but surely. Nice and slow. Understood? Kakarimasu. Oh, my God. Let's have your initial report on the estimated time to completion. So, through heroic effort, I managed to swallow the words, That's too damn fast, before they leave my mouth. Uh, oh god, I see, uh, you think it'll go that smoothly, huh? <laughs> Seems the brush bu bush dog was too easy. If I'd gone with the golden lion tamarin, I might have bought myself a few more minutes. Damn it! I chose poorly! Damn it! <laughs> This episode. This is just me giggling like a fucking idiot. But then again, that's most of the games and episodes and everything I play, really. Silence! What's the point of passing judgment on history from a position of hindsight? At that time, under these circum those circumstances, I made the best decisions I could! Damn it, damn it all, damn it all! It really is it? I mean it could be useful. <sighs> yeah, perhaps you're right. <sighs> my apologies. I overreacted. <laughs> Thanks to Machiro's words, I quickly regained my composure, which we lost utterly and completely. It seems my lack of sleep may have made me overly irritable. Just as she says, if I think about the matter rationally, there's hardly any reason to make such a fuss over a mere rhinestone-covered shark pouch. The mature thing is to politely accept my sparkly fate. <laughs> On second thought, I'd rather die! <laughs> <laughs> Adequate sleep! Adequate sleep is gravely important! Makina, I need your help on this one. Oh, 
Fuck do you wait? I mean, it might. I, I, as she speaks, Machina picks up a pebble from the hallway floor and offers it to me. I accept it with a curt yeah, then hurl it into the distance with one smooth movement. <laughs> it's a fucking pebble, stupid! Silence, please. I really, truly need you to stop talking for a while. Please don't say train. Okay. <laughs> Nobody was discussing locomotives. Your English is terrible. Also, you need to shut up. Mew? <laughs> Mew? <laughs> God, we're also being a massive dick. Is this is this always what happens when we don't get our sleep? True. When you get down to it, this is my fault. Seems I have no choice but to accept the consequences. Oh, we, you called not Makina over? For the love of God. How was that 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor Sachi. You did, you did good. Although she's completely out of breath, Sachi's face is filled with the joy of victory. She thrusts out her hand, offering me a pouch recognizably modeled after a bush dog. A uh, pretty exp impressive accuracy for such off-the-cuff work, actually. Good work, Sachi. Uh, impressive. I wasn't expecting you to finish the job so quickly. Hi. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Alright, this might drop our manliness down by like 5,000 points, but you know. Oh god. I turn the pouch over in my hand. It seems to be constructed from heavy duty waterproof nylon. Usable even in heavy rain weather. In order to express the distinctive coat of the bush dog, Sanchi's made use of fabric with a chocolate chip pattern. The chocolate chip design is more familiar as a camouflage pattern in desert regions, but it's well suited to the purpose. I'm fairly, uh, I'm fairly honestly surprised and impressed with her creative choice. And yet, as if to intentionally shatter the otherwise clever design, sparkling rhinestones all are all scattered around the pouch of surface. The sheer glitter power of this thing is overwhelming. I feel a little dizzy just looking at it. Hisachi? She did all that in 20 minutes, by the way. Just... <laughs> Oh, it's her masterpiece. Why? Uh, oh, I see. Oh, God. I seal my nerves and prepare myself for the cruel and sparkly fate. Oh, if only I'd gotten adequate sleep. But in the next moment, the situation changes abruptly. Machiro broaches briskly, snatches the pouch from my hands, and dangles it in front of Makina. Is Machiro saving the day with Makina? <laughs> oh, rip. That, that plan's out the fucking door already. You think fucking Machina's gonna be attracted by sh Yeah, she is, actually. She's a cat. And it is stated that she does go around attacking shiny bits. <laughs> With a subtle motion too small for Machina con to con consciously notice, Machiru draws the pouch back toward herself. The action triggers Machina's subconscious instinct for the chase, firmly hooking her interest on the bush, bush dog pouch. Hell yeah. 
hella shiny. <laughs> Just here, take all the shinies. <laughs> I'm mocking his words. I grab Sachi's shoulders and stare intensely into her eyes. Sachi, my friend, you heard this girl. This thing's hella shiny. I want it. Unless you will give me this pouch. I don't know what will become of me. I'm afraid I can no longer live without it. What passion. My heart has been moved ever so slightly. On that note, I know I was originally scheduled to receive this, but I think Machina may be more des a, of a deserving recipient. It may look even better on her than it would me. What do you think? So, so this ne. Tashkani, same no dankai de wa Kazami san ga best o datta no desu ga. Yabu inu to naru to Maki chan ni jakkan no gunbai ga. I mean, if we order her to, we can convince her to really accept anything, right? I, I well, that's those are only commands, not. <laughs> it's a, it's a bush dog. We were just discussing it. You need to remember, Makina is slightly derpy, so. <laughs> Almost as much. Uh, fucking Makina is so cute. Why? え、マキナの中で私のポジションどの辺なの?え?犬、チルチル、やばいの。犬っていう順位ですき。かわい。なんだかすごく獣に挟まれてる感じがする。そして犬が2回も。I <laughs> think Makina just has a list of things she loves, and it doesn't have specific categories at all. It's just a thing. <laughs> Sachi, can you find it in your heart to give it to our young animal lover here? I think that would be the best thing in the world for that pouch. That situation was fairly diffused. Thanks to Machiru. I feel like she's gonna forget it exists. <laughs> what? Wait. What the fuck? Uh. How? What did you put in there? Why did you put in there? I. 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 Only ten. It has. She did all this in twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. What the fuck? <laughs> Go into the rose garden. That isn't even a rose garden. Well, wait, oh, 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 look, they're talking. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, anyway, Makina and Sachi wander off somewhere, grasping the sparkling bush dog pouch in their hands. Left behind, Machiro and I find each other's eyes and have simultaneous sighs of relief. Huh, <sighs> excellent work. I owe you one this time. Huh? Did you not realize what you were doing? No need to play dumb. I know you orchestrated this conclusion. You called Machina over so that you could press the pouch on her. Well, we are talking to an idiot. Can you define orchestrated? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, you're 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 getting there. You're getting there, but you're uh, whatever. Either way, I owe you one. From now on, 
I'll be paying at least a little attention to any conversation, no matter how incredibly pointless. Otherwise, there's there there's no telling when I'll be caught up in something ridiculous again. Sounds like you're describing yourself. <laughs> I think the super honest was gonna was was getting there, but <laughs> if a tsundere honestly admits they're a tsundere, tsundere, they stop being a tsundere. <laughs> a woman says everyone on her island tells nothing but lies. If it's true, the woman is a liar. But if she's a liar, that she says can't be what she says can't be true. Similar case. No, not no, not quite. <laughs> Dilation. Jesus, this woman. Uh, now you're just talking about an animal giving birth. <laughs> Are you looking to become a veterinarian? <laughs> Hence why she loved that fucking cat. There was no testing involved. You managed to get yourself completely confused just fine without my help. Specifically, you started talking about things you don't understand and lost track of the conversation entirely. Neither Schroeders nor Froud have anything to do with this. You're trying too hard. Stick nice to small words. Yeah, you are you, that's for fucking sure. Yes, I'm painfully aware of that. <laughs> I always get so frustrated there. Oh. Um, um. What the fuck? What? Machu takes a handful of Romney candies from her pouch and munches down on them vigorously. I know women are always saying they have a separate stomach for sweets, but isn't this daily intake of junk food bad for her? Or is this some kind of stress relief for her? It seems to be uh, some sort of coping strategy like that would just get... What well, seems to me that a coping strategy like that would just get you caught in a vicious circle of candy bloated misery. You know, no matter how much glucose you take in, it's not going to increase your basic potential for action. It's certainly necessary for as energy for your brain, but considering your presumably modern and clearly unhealthy diet, there's no need for you to go out of your way and take more. Junk food like that is basically pure sugar, just so you know. So she's like a Stress eater? Okay. <laughs> if you're fond of, if you're that fond of them, let me try one. God damn. She even had those candies at the start of the game too. So. Come on, rack that, rack that stupid brain of yours. <laughs> you what? I think you may have gotten there from homeless, but the new nuance is actually pretty different. I think I might have mentioned this, but your English really needs work. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, a reasonably polite farewell for once. Bye-bye, I mean... <laughs> you... Oh, whatever. You're not... What? Go on. Got it. See you later. Get fucking wreck nerd. It's difficult for me to determine whether this girl is basically a somewhat considerate person or just an utter idiot who d occasionally stumbles her way into acts of kindness. But either way, she's incredibly noisy. From experience, 
I know that there are essentially two types of women in the world. You have your noisy women, and then you have your even noisier women. <laughs> and we men must manage the, as best we can in this cruel world. There is a quick and efficient way of shutting women, a, a woman up. Namely, sealing her lips, but sadly, this comes with its own set of complications. <laughs> I feel bad saying <laughs> Life's no picnic. I think I'll be going to bed early tonight. <laughs> yeah, you better fucking go to bed early. Oh no, we're in the classroom. What do you want to do with me in here? <laughs> when you visit a country where they speak a different language, there's one thing you should always learn first. Namely, the local phrase for thank you. And quite possibly the local phrase for where's the bathroom. Or so my master taught me. <laughs> of course, my master was also such a half-assed human being that she usually didn't bother to learn anything else. Get thanks down first. Then just make up the rest as you go along. I had plenty of good conversations in America using only thank you, dog, and pencil. What? <laughs> when someone's that shamelessly sloppy about life, it's actually kind of charming. The woman had the brains of poultry, but while we're on the subject of English... Chicken head is an insult you should usually try to avoid there. Why? Say that to a woman and you've implied that she spends a lot of her time moving her head back and forth like a chicken pecking at feed. In other words, that she's a blowjob expert. Oh, okay. Today is supper. Is a fish. You like a fish? I like fish. Depends on fish, though. Oh my god. Uh huh? Do I do like fish? Oh, they're all so adorable, though. Yes, fish. Are you okay? I love when they they speak English. It's it's it makes me happy. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. That. That's tough! <laughs> you too? Suck that! You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> what? Please say again! I'm fucking dying over here! You know what I'm saying? Look enough! I like fish! I'm rabbit! Oh my god! <laughs> you rabbit? You must not laugh. Uh, hey, Amine. Huh? Mm? so? The fuck? <laughs> what exactly are those two doing over there? Ah, are? Makina Sensei no tokubetsu jigo da yo. Oh, well, I, I, it makes sense, I guess. Remedial class. Hora, Michiru wa kono mae. Telling you, Makina is a fucking genius. I'm I'm fucking saying. Makina? Teach? Space Marines? She did, which makes the most sense. Which is why I was just like, okay, it's cool. I mean, she's just a genius, though. The idea of Makina teaching anybody, somebody, anybody really, is kind of weird and bizarre. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, like, I'm just... <笑>いいかね。松島みちるといえば、ショパンをチョピンと読む女だぞ。そして私は兄丸を縁に持つ発音する女だ。これはもう誰の目から見ても。you change words to be something else. <laughs> Just fucking get back to your teaching, Makina. Hmm. You're awfully full of yourself for someone who can't even pronounce. Uh, oh God. Uh, an animal shit. I don't even know. I didn't even try. 
It's the name of the largest animal in existence during the Cambri Cambrian period. Machina, let's see what you got. Okay, well... <laughs> better than what I did. Uh, wrong, try again. <laughs> wrong, it's... Uh, oh, shutting down. <laughs> Once more. Harogen bulb. Uh. Hagiron bubble. Hi, out. Get fucked. Ouchie! Fucking jeez! She sets a fucking dirty mouth. What? Can you can't even handle halogen bulb? Maki-chan wa shita ga mijikai shi, atama no naka ga chotto tokushu na no de, umaku hatsuon dekinai kotoba ga ooi n desu yo. As you guys know, there are also a lot of words that I just can't pronounce or say properly. A lot of the time I can say them, I just think it's funnier to say them different ways, like pedometer. <laughs> but but I, there are some words where I'm just like, what the fuck does that mean? Or not mean, but how do I say that? You fucking what, mate? Kakyakusen mangyon bongo. Oh no. Why are we like harassing my partner in crime? I don't understand. <laughs> Spare me the temper tantrum. It's probably a side effect of the compression based mnemonic method. She seems to be storing only the beginning and ending of each word for efficiency, so proper nouns and words with unusual middle syllables give her trouble. Oh, please. I want to hear more of it, please. She's trying to drown us out. That's what it is. <laughs> Oh no no! Uh, Amane. Okay, so good so far, so far so good. I know. So what? So, so what? She's very lovely. Oh well, that's nice. It's right. Oh. By making her a lover, it's to become happy. Oh well, I mean, I guess. How about it? <laughs> Don't know about that. She's lover of lover. Uh. Lover of lover. That's why. <laughs> if you marry her, it is mommy of mommy. Where's this conversation even going anymore? Hey, is your mommy a mommy? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh, holy shit! Confirm, you get the lie! <laughs> Maki Magina! Holy shit! <laughs> what good is this doing? This isn't even a conversation! Hey, Amine! Hmm? What the fuck? Is this really gonna help her grades any? Um, I mean, I'll give, I'll give it that. It's probably better than nothing, but still. Well, maybe, I guess. The complete lack of coherent flow to their conversation is part of the problem. But Makina's English is honestly almost as bad as Machiru's. Her pronunciation is comically off, and she mixes in any many weird phrases you won't hear over there. They say you shouldn't learn English from a non-native speaker, and this is a good case in that point. I just want a whole fucking game of Makina and Machu talking English. That's all I want. As you go along, huh? I suppose there are some people out there who can hold an entire conversation using only pencil, dog, and thank you. When it comes to English conversations, might as well just make it up as you go along. I guess that's the extent of our lesson for today. <laughs> want, no! Don't do this to me! I want more! 
I want more of fucking those two just saying the most stupid shit in English. I love it. Oh, 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 I already know. You guys have been telling me you're laughing now and just wait till you get to a route, then you're emotionally fucked. And I'm like, I know. I. <laughs> That's usually how they get you. They wrap you in with funnies and then... Bing, bang, boom, serious, and you're fucked. Oh, <laughs> and then the sadness happened.